for the thousands of Florida line workers serving millions of utility customers throughout the state. August 26, 2012 will be a banner day. Their day. In early March, the Florida legislature declared August 26th Line Worker Appreciation Day for the state of Florida. We have a hurricane, or we have a tornado, or we have floods. Whatever the most inclement weather is that is out there that makes their lights go off and they start to call the corporate offices of the places where you work, they figure it out real quickly that it is you who go out in the lightning, go out in the rain, go out in the wind, in the dangerous, in the dangerous conditions, and make sure that in a reasonable period of time, most often a very short period of time, the lights are flipped back on. The date holds special meaning for Tracy Moore, whose lineman husband, Mark, died in the service of Lakeland Electric customers in 2002. Her efforts, with the support of FMEA, demonstrated the enormous debt of gratitude society owes its line workers and prompted the Florida House of Representatives to recognize and honor those line workers assembled in Tallahassee for the formal announcement. When there's a natural disaster or a home fire, a structural fire, or automobile accident, it's, it's the linemen that are true first responders that have to make the area safe before our other first responders can do their job. And I want the public to recognize what they do and um, the sacrifices that they make, as well as their families. My pride and my profession runs deep. That's, that's who we are and what we are. Nothing, nothing comes before the trade. Friendship, whatever, the trade comes first. Trade's bigger than anybody that does it. Unless it's time of trouble and time of storm, you know, we, we get put on the back burner. But in any that disaster situation, we come together as a team, no matter from Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. We just come together as a team, we get the work done, and then we go on about our business. 2004 when we had three hurricanes come through, uh, that's when uh, people really knew who we were. Um, all the help we got from out of town and other states uh, really enlightened them. Of course, uh, with time, they always forget though. <laughs> so this will, this will be nice. You can go anywhere in this country and run into a lineman and you've got something to talk about. And it's, it's, a, it's a, a good fraternity of men no matter where you go, there, there's, you can learn developed a lot of friendships all around this country just for me and Lyman. In all the years that we've been working, it's it's been a really nice uh, thing here toward the end of my career, mm -hmm. getting a recognition for all the work that the people have done, but also all the people that over the years that I've known that have got hurt or, or died doing this kind of work to keep the people's power. What keeps me going is the energy behind it, the thoughts of helping people, doing the right things, uh, I enjoy doing the work. It's just very exciting. There's nothing routine about it. Everything has its challenges, and I just love the challenge of doing line work. I feel like they all give some and some give all, and in my case, my husband sacrificed his life for the profession, and I, I wanted to take that and bring glory to the others that are still here doing that job, and that's what I intend to do.